Remember, in placing or positioning your racket and hitting the forehand, you want to begin with a nice big backswing, big extension in which your elbow can go up as high as possible, creating what we consider the power arc. When the racket travels down through, through the center placement of your body, which is in the ideal hitting zone, the ideal hitting zone is from your back foot to the extension of your front foot. This is the area in which you want to make contact with the ball. Racket back, coming through the ideal hitting zone, making contact, and then properly following through. One of the biggest issues or concerns I have is that a lot of people tend to stop their stroke when they come when they make contact with the ball you want to make sure you don't stop your stroke and you come down through the ideal hitting zone with the proper follow through always remember this creates the stroke balance and the stroke balance is from the beginning to the end a real consistent movement Proper footwork with your forehand should be a nice natural motion. Remembering that your weight is transferring from your back foot on your backhand motion. When following through, your weight will transfer when floating through the ideal hitting zone to your front foot, creating maximum power with your forehand motion. Now watch the forehand motion when making contact with the ball. Notice the racket back, elbow out, as the racket head begins to come through the ideal hitting zone, led by the elbow, snapping through the ball and then the big follow through. 